um, because I wanted to keep the, um, why, why? I'm not sure why. Well, anyways, this is the Muddy Tips. This fleece was washed once, and I want to see how much work the tips were going to give me. Because this is a very fine fleece, it, I'm not going to get any prickle factor from cutting off the edges. And, and technically, since if it's, unless it's a lamb fleece, which I don't believe this is, um, it is not going to, it is always going to have a, the first edge is going to be cut. It may be worn a little bit, I guess, from rubbing around on fences and whatnot um, due to weather. But I find if I, I get this sort of scenario going where the tips are muddy, if I don't want to go through the work of flicking each lock, which I love not to have to do that. I like to spin straight from a washed fleece. I'll go around and do this. This is about a pound and it doesn't take five minutes, um, much less than that, I'm sure. I'll go around. Here's a good example of very muddy and the rest of the fleece is washing up nicely, but um, why, why is this that muddy? You know, probably I, th this would have been around the bottom half of the sheep where that rested in the dirt. I skirt off all the poopy stuff. This is not poop. Lots of non-farmer people may think this is poop, but when you're looking at sheep fleeces, poop is pellets on sheep, unless it's the very, very, very hind under the tail. My wool was long and I had loose bowels for some reason, then you're not going to have poop in a fleece. Um, sheep poop looks like milk duds or raisinets. Um, so yeah, lots of people when they think they're getting poop, well, if you're getting poop, then that farmer really wasn't into fiber because they don't know, um, unless they thought you looked like a gardener, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing, I'm going around, just snipping off the very tip, and it's maybe at the very most, let's see here, where's the camera? It's at the very most, um, about a third of an inch at the most. Those are the muddier, the longer ones. And that's just because when snow melts, these tips hit the ground. And I am not going to throw away this portion of wool that is, I'm looking at it, about 17 microns because other than the fact that it has these muddy tips, is absolutely perfect. And so if you get a fleece and you have some stuff that looks very dark and you think I washed it and this didn't wash away, oh my gosh, that must be poop. It's not poop. It's mud. Um, poop, like I said, is looks like a milk dud. Or right under the tail, it'll be clumps of wool and urine generally if they did not get crutched. And when sheep are crutched, that's shearing the insides of the back legs and around the private parts so that it doesn't get sticky and concentrated. But yeah, sheep generally, what's called a tag um, is when things are sticking to the wool and clump together, but chances are it's still urine and mud and lanolin. Unless, like I said, the sheep was, had loose bowels for one reason or another. That could do, be to getting ready to lamb. It could be um, the, a change, a, an extreme change in their eating. It's like, okay, see that? Lots of people might think that's, let me get a clear picture. Lots of people might think that's poop. There's no way that's poop, that's mud. I'm just gonna, it, it would flick out, it would flick out. But I'm wanting to 
make the spinning my joyous kind where this it's just a white big pound of white fluffiness and then I will spin straight from that. So I'm just going to snip off, there's a piece of hay. I'm going to snip off the muddy tips, put it back in the water, and get it all pretty, and then hang it up, go to work for a bit, and then come back, and it'll be dry. I hang my wool <laughs> um, from hooks when I'm just doing a pound at a time and it dries very quickly. Now let me show you out of this pound. Okay, here's some more you might think, oh my gosh, they sent me poop. Well, I'm not sending this out to anybody, that's why I'm using it. That, see that? Lots of people might think that's poop. That's a muddy tip because just like if you sat in the mud, your hair would get muddy, your, your rump would get muddy, your behind would get muddy, and your head would not. That's why some of the wool on the sheet differ so much. The size of the bottom side of the tummy sits in the dirt and the top of the back does not. However, the top of the back gets more um, hay bits because what sheep do is take a bite of hay and then look around to see if the other sheep ordered something better. <laughs> so just like us at a restaurant. Dang, I should have ordered that halibut. So there you go. Snipping off these little muddy tips and then I will put it back in the water and then see, there's another one, not poop, muddy tip. But I'm, a, I'm snipping because chances are if they've been sitting in the mud, they might be a little weathered and fragile anyways in which they're going to break off um, when flicking or combing and this is a heck of a lot faster and to me more enjoyable because it's instant gratification and the people that are worried about prickly cut tips unless it's a lamb's fleece it was cut before anyways and um, this is a fine wool yeah with, with a long wool coarse wool this would be a sh shame if it had good lock structure because for lock spinning you want to preserve the lock but other than lock spinning if it's been if it's not a lamb's fleece it that tip's been cut already just like the end of your hair and when it feels finer at the ends then it does up in the hair, it's be, it's okay. You know how your hair feels thicker when you cut it? It's because you're cutting off the thin ends and the thins are in because they've gotten split or weather, you know, thinned out from, from falling out, whatever. It's not because you your your head changed microns as it grew out of air. Yeah, that's well, that would only happen if you're a baby. Okay, here's very muddy. That would so flick out, but I'm doing a tutorial for the lazy. <laughs> so Bryn, ignore this. See, just like you were, just like what? Just like, just like what? Just like you were deadheading your, um, just like you were deadheading your Floribunda rose bush that there's too darn many flowers on it to do one at a time. So you just go zip, 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 zip all over the bush. And then you're a happy camper. All right, there you go. Bye.